Hello everyone, this is Nine Victor One Hotel Yankee and also Bravo Hotel One X3 Lima Echo. My QTH right now is in Beijing, China. Uh, I'm at home, so today I record this video at home because this is my school holiday and I spend some time, uh, spend some of my vacation at home in my hometown. Uh, today I want to make this video because there is an there is a an update for my QO100 project. Uh, yesterday I received a parcel from uh, Xinjiang province, China. Uh, uh, it is sent by another ham, BG0AUB, Bravo Golf Zero Alpha United Bravo. Uh, so he is, uh, he is, uh, I think he is the first person to, uh, QSO on QO100 and also, uh, his progress on QO100 is the furthest in China. He also, uh, very, uh, willing to share his, uh, equipment and experience. He posts many photos and, uh, posts many tutorials online to teach other ham how to prepare a Q100 station and also how to do, uh, some microwave equipment. Uh, he also, he is very interested in my project because, uh, firstly, uh, not many ham in China has experience to, uh, Q100. Because their geographical region is not a lot, does not allow, allow them to, uh, QSO on Q100. So, uh, having another Chinese ham who is willing to do Q100 station, uh, is quite excited for him as well. So, uh, he has been helping me a lot. And, uh, knowing that my receiving test was successful, uh, he immediately tell me that he is going to send me an amplifier for 2.4 gigahertz amplifier. And uh, yesterday I finally received it. So very excited. Today I'm going to show you uh, his amplifier. Yeah. So this is the amplifier. Uh, let's let's take a look. Uh, Q100 uplink power amplifier. Input minus five, output more than 40. Uh, a, a small correction here is dBm instead of dB, it's dBm. So the input is minus five dBm, approximately 0 0.2, about 0 0.2 milliwatt. Output more than 40 dB, dBm, which is 10 watt. So the gain is about 45 dB. This is quite huge. And also, uh, by BG0 AUB in December 2019. Uh, yeah. He, he just finished this amplifier recently. So, uh, and sent it to me. I received it yesterday. So, uh, the amplifier itself weighed about two to three kilogram. I think about two to three kilogram. Not very heavy. I think seriously lighter than I expect and also smaller than I expect. I can literally hold this by one hand. The size is about the size of a brick. So yeah, quite small, quite small. Input is 24 to 28 volt, maximum three ampere. I get a uh, 24 uh, volt. DC power supply, uh, one week ago. So I can use that to power my, uh, amplifier. The cable is attached there. I need to make the connector. I, I only need to make the connector. Yeah. That's the only thing. And, uh, other than the power supply, we have one, two, three, and four. We have four connector in total. So, uh, this is actually not only an amplifier. Also, there is a voltage regulator and a bias T inside. You, you remember in my last video, I have a bias T, only a small bias T PCB board. Uh, I brought from an, some ham shop online. I use that for my receiving test, but, uh, he has the, he has the bias T built inside and also the bias T need 12 volt. So a voltage regulator to convert 24 volt to 12 volt is also inside. Uh, so, so this is, this actually consists of three parts. Amplifier, voltage regulator, and bias T. So it's a three in one box. Very good for my Q100 setup. Especially I'm doing a portable. So, you know, having too many components, having too many PCB can be troublesome. And also you need to do all the wiring is, uh, uh, easy to make mistake. So from here, we can see there's RX and TX. These two are actually to and from SDR. So my LAN SDR has transmit and receive. These two are connected to here, connected here. And, uh, yeah, 
the transmitting part is connected to the PA board. The receiving part is connected to the BIST board, I believe. And here we have LNB and uh, 2.4G. The LNB is at this connect just directly to the LNB and inside is the BIST. This uh, 2.4 gigahertz is uh, 2.4 gigahertz is the after amplify after the amplifier the amplified signal output. This one I will use a coax cable connect directly to my 2.4 gigahertz antenna, which I will show you later. Uh, I received this 2.4 antenna as well. Yeah, this is also made by BG Zero AUB. I really thank him for all this uh, effort and all this thing that he gave to me and uh, his effort to. Uh, promote Q100, promote ham radio to other Chinese ham. Uh, he has been doing a wonderful job. Uh, really thank him. Uh, so this is also he made. Uh, it's a copper tube and a two piece of copper plate SMA connector. So from the, from the output of amplifier, I will connect directly to this patch antenna. So this patch antenna and, uh, the LNB, I will modify the LNB and make them into a dual, a dual feed, uh, antenna system and put them on my dish antenna. So, uh, dish antenna, I have find a seller and uh, we have negotiate the price. The only thing I need to confirm is the shipping. Uh, now I'm asking for quote from several shipping company and see what is the best option I have. Uh, I I should have a 1.2 meter diameter dish, 1.2 meter side feed, not center feed, and uh, uh, it, I should ship by sea, not by air, because by air is just simply too expensive. So by sea, it will take two weeks, about two weeks, uh, because Christmas and New Year's are getting close. So. If I can get everything settled by this week, I will receive, I will be, I will receive the dish antenna hopefully in first week after New Year. Uh, hopefully first week after New Year. So, uh, my target of getting on air to Q100 by end of January, uh, looks quite achievable. Right now, equipment wise is everything is okay. And for testing wise, uh, also, uh, it's getting very good. This patch antenna BG0AUB, before he sent it to me, he did some test. It is resonance at 2.4 gigahertz. And, uh, this power amplifier also he tested. After I go back to school, I, uh, the school has antenna an analyzer and also has the other equipment in the in electronic lab. I can use them freely so I can test everything once again because I think during the, during shipment, uh, this thing may get, uh, may get some squid, may get some damaged or the resonance may go slightly off. I can adjust it. Uh, that's no problem. That's no problem. Yeah. Today, like really happy to, really happy to receive this, uh, amplifier. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, the box is, uh, I think the box is reused from other projects. So, uh, we can see some tape on it. Uh, I'm not going to remove the tape for now. So, uh, maybe in the future, I will open this box and show you, uh, what's really inside. What's really inside. I think only like the, the three components I mentioned before, amplifier, regulator, and bias T. Uh, yeah, this is really the, like, really a wonderful gift. Uh, like, uh, should be my, I can consider this as a early Christmas present and, uh, yeah, it is better than anything uh, except a new HF radio, <laughs> of course. So, uh, that's the end of my video. Right now I'm in, Ch I'm at home, so nothing I can really do, nothing can be tested. Uh, next video I will go back to Singapore before Christmas and, uh, if I have anything to update, I will, uh, update, uh, when I go back to school and, uh, yeah, still hope to get on to get on air by January. And, uh, I hope you like this video and I hope you like, uh, to watch my journey to, uh, get on air on to Q100. Uh, thank you for your support. And, uh, like if you have anything to share or to comment, uh, feel free to, uh, send a comment or send a, 
uh, P or PM me. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's all. 73, have a nice day. Goodbye.